I'm back. Well, my mind's back. I know what I need to do, but... I'm still in the fucking pod. I need to get out of the pod right now. Okay, so I don't think Helena knows I'm awake. Better keep it that way, or she'll just drug me again. That panel operates the pod, and... Oh, it's right there. Only a thin sheet of plastic away. A thin sheet of a very, very strong plastic. Dad! Is he okay? He looks unharmed. Oh, thank God. Dreams. Entangled dreams existing in multiple worlds. Pure energy capable of changing the universe. What's... looks like reality is wavering breaking apart. The walls between dream and reality are starting to get thin near that vortex. It's Ein Garner's doing. And... and mine. Wait, does that mean I can... Yes! I'm on the border between waking and dream. Story time's right here, a thought away, which means I can shape dreams. I can change reality. With a code, of course. Come on, Helena. It must be in there somewhere, the code. You must have been thinking about it just there. Got it. 7914. Okay, so let's try this. 7914. This isn't right. You shouldn't be able to... Hold on, Zoe. Just wait. Let's... Let's talk this through. If you don't reconnect with Aingana, the wave field will collapse before it's reached the correct amplitude. Don't you understand? This reality is perfectly entangled with the proto-reality. I need... Stop. Manifesting an observed reality, independent of the quantum field generated by Angana. That's interesting. That means the world is changing. You're in control. It's working, Zoe. It's working. It's beginning to. Enough, Helena. Oh, put that thing down, Gabrielle. We both know you won't use it. Our contract is void. Wati security is right outside that door, and you've set your insane project in motion. What's stopping me from killing you, right now? Her? You won't kill your little girl's mother in front of- What's that? What's happening? I don't know. This never occurred in any of my models. The cut. It's closing up. It's temporary. You'll need to have it looked at by a proper medic before the night's over, or you'll bleed to death. Is this magic? Who cares? It's saving your life. Delaying death. Utana. She did this. Who are you? Long story. How are you feeling? Better. Good, Great. I... Great. We're running a bit short on time, so you'll have to excuse me. What school of sorcery is this? Not magic. And shut up. I'm trying to focus. Hey. Hey? Nice outfit. Uh, thanks. You've opened a portal between Stark and Arcadia. It's called a shift. You're a shifter? Not really. I usually walk paths that are already open. To be honest, I'm not very good at this. I need to stay right here to keep this shift open, so we'll have to skip the handshakes and move on to the main event. Kian, Zoe, Zoe, Kian. I know you guys are supposed to speak. That's why we're all here. So speak. And, uh, make it quick? We've met before in... We have. 
We keep missing each other and... We do. You don't, I'm just... what? You first. Zoe. I know who the Prophet is, and I know how to stop the undreaming. Or at least, I think I do. It might not work, but it's all we have, and... Roper clacks. He's the key. He has a shard of the Soul Stone inside him, but we need the Silver Spear of Goromon to destroy it, and that's... Zoe. Slow down. The undreaming. A destructive force, capable of... of unmaking the universe. The Prophet's using it to destroy magic and reunite the worlds. And this magical spear? The Silver Spear of Goromon. The Prophet used it to kill the Draic Kin, charging it with dragon's blood. He needs it to destroy magic and alter the dream. The spear is the only thing that can shatter the shard inside Clax. Of course. And where do we find the spear? The Prophet carries it with him. I don't think he lets it out of his sight. So, find the Prophet, find the spear. And probably Clax. Clax was here. I punched him, but he got away. Someone survived being punched by you. I held back. He called himself an engineer. The Prophet's been using Clax, like he's been using your people. But why does he want to kill Magicals? Maybe, in his own twisted head, Brian believes he's doing the universe a favor. Could you guys get a move on? I'm not sure how long I can keep this doorway open. We need to stop the Prophet, Kian. And we stop him by destroying the shard of the Soul Stone Roper Clax carries inside him. You're certain this will stop the... the undreaming? I think so. It... it feels right. Besides, what have we got to lose? Nothing. Everything. But if we can stop the Prophet by taking his spear and killing a wizard, this is something I can do. I'm coming with you. No. No, you can't. We're not done here. I'll see the two of you afterwards. No, you won't. What? Nothing. I'm Saga. I'm Zoe. But you know that. Listen, this may look easy, but it's not. Weight of worlds on my shoulders, the pull of alien gravities, knees buckling, etc. So you need to not distract me. Uh, okay, sorry. What should I... We wait. I opened the shift, you spoke to Keon, that's why I was sent here. What comes next? It's not up to me. How do you know all this? Because that's how the story goes, and it's been written, and we can't change that. Now shush. Okay, okay.
The energies appear to be agitated. They're moving faster. but great that you could make it. Who the hell are you? Is everyone gonna ask me that question? Who am I kidding? Of course everyone's going to ask me that question. I'm just the woman keeping the doorway open because I was asked to do so and I couldn't really say no. I have no idea who you are, lady, so I'm going to guess you're not that important. But him? He's got a job to do. Is that... Stark? Is that Stark through there? Is it? Yep. Hi, Zoe. Anna. Uh, this one's Ferdows. I always believed the stories about a mirror world. Oh, but this... It's incredible. Where's Keon? Is he alright? We lost contact with him. He went after the Prophet. Of course he did. I'm sorry, but Saga, how are these two gonna help? I don't know. I'm a glorified doorkeeper. Why don't you ask them? Don't look at me. He's the star here. Ferdows. Ferdows, stop staring at that bloody portal. Oh, uh, yeah, um, hello. Tell this one what you're planning. I, uh, I was gonna feed the engine a, a series of, uh, 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 calculations designed to make it, um, uh, well, to, to, to force it to, uh, well, um, stop. You mean crash it? Crash? Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> How did you know? Do you also code spheres? Spheres? I've considered a career in spheres. So you can force the engine to crash? Yes. Uh, I mean, no. I, I, I could have. Not anymore. It, it stopped taking new instructions when it began running the final calculations and... There's no way to get in? No. It's a closed system. Once the final set of instructions are running, there's nothing that I... I mean... I didn't write the core operational code. If I knew more about how that code functions, then then maybe... Do I... you have schematics? Diagrams? Diagrams? Of, of the engine? Uh, I, I don't. But they keep diagrams right here. You know, I could probably find some. Get them. I happen to know the most brilliant program engineer there is, in Stark at least. If anyone can wrap their head around a steampunk calculating engine, it's wit. Saga, can Fadaos pass through the shift? No idea. But you made it through without being torn into a billion pieces, so the odds are decent. Got them! Uh, what was that about a billion pieces? Let's go. Huh? Friend of Keon's? Not really, no. So, this is some sort of magic portal between worlds. Something like that. Huh. Vaven? A K-O-N Tekalogica? The most advanced engine there is, yeah. Wait, you're not speaking English. I guess you weren't speaking English in the first place, but... I still understand you. Do you understand me? Ah. Uh... Koe? <sighs> I guess that was expecting too much. Well, we're gonna have to make this as simple and as visual as possible. Mira, put wit on. No... Shut up. No discussions. Do it now. Please. Wit? Zoe. I need your help. And fast. Hold on, I'm sending you some schematics. I need you to figure out a way to get this system caught in an infinite loop. And for Dows, watch. Hey, watch this. Everything is ready? Everything's ready. Master, the engine is operating within parameters, the well of dreams has been activated, the tower is focusing the current, and the tear is expanding. 
You need only tap into the well with your scepter, and then you can shape the dreaming to your will. Good. You'll receive your reward, Clax, I promise. Master. At long last. They'll understand when they witness the new world. They'll understand that I was merciful and kind. That I acted in the best interests of all humanity. Sometimes people have to die for the rest of us to live on. And I can go home again. After all these years. Home. Do you understand me now? Uh, yes, perfectly. On that side, you were speaking gibberish. Um, Zoe? English. It was English. But did you pick up on what Wit was showing you? Zoe, you need to hurry. The shift's starting to contract. Okay. So did it make sense to you? L the instructions? Yes. Yes. Uh, it made sense. A special set of instructions, fed directly into the engine, designed to mask itself as part of the final programming, but, but with erroneous calculations. Calculations that will cause the engine to enter an infinite loop and burn itself out. Uh, um, a... Virus. We call it a virus. Like... like a disease? <laughs> this makes sense. This makes a lot of sense. Now, Zoe! And can you do it? Uh, well, I don't know if I... Huh! So, can you? Uh, now that I understand the fundamentals, yes. 
I'll need to feed a series of manual instructions directly into the engine. It'll take some time, but time I Time we don't have. Just get started. Oh, goddess. Uh, all right. How do we shut it down? Only she knows. We won't be shutting anything down, even if you threaten to shoot me. We're not shooting any- <gasps> Mr. Mr. Westhouse? What are you- Oh, God. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. Well, you betrayed me. You're trying to destroy everything I've... You were a tool, Helena. Nothing more. Did you think I'd let you play God? Existence is an accident. It was never meant to be dreaming. There was just dreaming. And undreaming. For every creation, a destruction. Let her go. You're not supposed to be on your own. You've been causing so much grief. They don't understand you. They don't understand that there needs to be balance in all things. Life and death. Light and darkness. Creation, destruction. Dream and undream. All things in balance. It's time to come home and to dream new dreams. They're here, Vamon. Harmi's men, the rebels, and your men too. Deserters! Goddess, save us! They're here! How did this happen? Were your men not supposed to remain loyal? Did you not make me that promise? I killed Harmi. But his men must have got to mine. They saw the tide turning. They were spooked when the tower lit up. Sorcery. They believe it's sorcery and they blame us. So do something about it! What exactly do you want me to do? Convince them to change sides again? 
It's over, sire. Everything's falling apart. Goddess, why have you abandoned me? I thought... I thought I was doing your work. So we stay here, and we face them when they come. You and I, together. We tell them we were misled by the Prophet, like so many others. That we believed we were acting in accordance with the wishes of the Goddess. Perhaps the light will shine upon us, and we'll be spared. Or at least, we die with our heads lifted to the sky, redeemed in her glory. Vamon, we can walk the slopes of the first mountain, hand in hand. You'll do this for me, Vamon. Because you love me, and you wish to protect me. We share the responsibility for this. We... <gasps> I am not staying here to be arrested, tried, and executed in ignominy. Her shame was too great. She jumped. She had misled everyone, including the commander. I will let you take credit as the sole architect of our grand scheme, sire. I grant you that gift. Try. 